Today I'm going to teach you how to use the lightsaber preset that I made in Adobe After Effects. First thing you're going to do is you're going to make a new document. Then you're going to import your video footage by going File, Import, File. You're going to choose your video clip. Then you're going to click Open. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to import the video footage into the new composition by dragging it into the new comp icon, which is right here. So now you have your composition. I just need to adjust my workspace a little bit so I have more workroom. Okay. So Next thing you're going to do is you're going to add a new layer, a new adjustment layer by going layer, new, adjustment layer, or control alt y, which is the shortcut. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the effects and presets right here. If you don't have this tab, all you're going to have to do is go window, effects and presets, and make sure that's checked. Then just type in, the, this is after you installed the lightsaber preset I made, and after effect, and I have another tutorial on how you're going to do that. So just type in lightsaber. Then you're going to choose whichever lightsaber color preset you want. All, then you're going to click, drag it onto the adjustment layer. Then you're going to check the composite on original. If you need to, you can zoom in by hitting Control plus or just moving it in with this by clicking here. And then you can choose how much percent you want to zoom in. I like it about there. Or you could also use the scroll wheel on your mouse by going like that if you need to. Then you move these two points around to the lightsaber, to whatever you want the lightsaber to be following. And then you adjust these two points. Well, you're going to click all the stopwatches to make sure that everything's going to be keyframe, which is how you adjust everything. And then you fool around with the starting thickness, which will do the bottom point, and then the ending thickness, which will adjust the top point. And then that's how you cover the lightsaber. If you have a mess up like that, just hit Control Z and then it'll undo your last change. Or you could also go edit undo change value. And then all you do is you drag the two points around and then see how the red lightsaber is still visible past that. That's why you can change the thickness to make it a little bit thicker where it needs to be thicker by going like that. Then you can either go to the next frame by clicking this button right here and back a frame by clicking that button or you could just hit the page down key or the page up key. Oh and I also just remembered you have to check motion blur and click right there. And then page down to go to the next frame. Go like that. Readjust the points. And then the lightsaber is covered again, page down. And then pretty much this is all you're going to be doing through the entire time you want the lightsaber to be there. And then you're going to adjust that a little bit more. So it will give the illusion that the lightsaber is home. <coughs> is 
is actually moving with motion blur and just keep going frame by frame like this. I'm going to pause the recording and show you what you should be getting. Okay, now I'm back. But as I was in the middle of do editing this myself, I noticed I had a problem where the lightsaber just disappears for a minute. Like, right here. See how it completely goes away? So, if I just leave the effect there, it'll look kind of weird. The way that you can do this easily is go to the frame right before the lightsaber disappears and then keyframe the opacity of the layer at a hundred then you go over to the next frame where it's going to be where it's going to be gone and then just make the opacity zero the, Sorry, I just remembered I forgot to show you how to get to the opacity of the layer. All you're going to do is you're going to go to the layer that you're working on, click the drop down arrow, then you're going to go to transform, click that drop down arrow, then you're going to keyframe opacity by clicking the little stopwatch right here. By clicking the stopwatch right here. That's going to create your first keyframe. Then you're going to just type in zero where the lightsaber disappears. <coughs> That's going to keyframe it to zero. Then you're going to go throughout the entire clip where the lightsaber is gone. And then see how it comes back right, he right here. And it's gone right here. <coughs> I mean, sorry. <coughs> it's gone right here, but it starts coming back right here. All you're going to do is you're going to hit this little diamond button to cause a keyframe. So that's going to keyframe it at zero again. Then you're going to go to the next frame, and you're just going to hit 100%, and then the effect's back. And then you're just going to go back to adjusting the points like this. For some reason I put those keyframes back here even though the effect is visible by then. So now I'm just readjusting everything. next frame and that's where my video ends because I just made a pretty quick short one because this could take a really long time to do so now I'm going to show you how to test it all you're going to do is you're going to click the RAM preview button it's going to load up everything it's going to load up everything usually it'll take a little bit longer and then you can play it at normal speed by clicking the play button. And then you got your lightsaber effect. To, to export the video, you don't do what you do in most video making programs where you go file, export, you don't do that. You go composition, add to render queue. And then from add to render queue, you just select where you click right here, select where you want your video to go, and then you click render. If you have any more questions, just let me know by contacting us through Facebook. We have our contact us page, contact me page through that. Um, we have the information on the contact us page. To how to find us on Facebook or you can also comment on the video on YouTube and I'll try to help you the best I can.